Hi guys, it's Ivory. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am recreating my wedding makeup look. I also recreated my hair. I did do both on my wedding day. Actually, learning to do my makeup and practicing is kind of what got me into beauty in the first place. I went to someone who freelanced and she did a trial on my face and it looked okay. I'm not saying it was bad, but when I looked at my makeup, Honestly, I felt like I could do it by myself and actually a little bit better. So I went on YouTube and I looked up tutorials and, you know, went through magazines and tons of pictures to see what looked good for me. But it's also not what just looks good on you, it's also what's going to last on you. So I went through many trials of trying different foundations, trying it with primer, without primer, taking lots of pictures to see like if there was any flash issues. So I really experimented before my wedding day to see what worked best for my skin. So for those that are seriously considering doing their makeup, you can do it. I was able to do it. And if you have any doubts, if you have the patience and practice enough, you, you can do it. I completely believe in you. I was able to do it. So this is the look. I was able to recreate it with about 95% of the products from my actual wedding day. So if you have oily skin or acne prone skin or monolids like me, then this is the tutorial that you're looking for. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Wednesday and post occasional bonus videos throughout the week. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, before we get on to the look, I wanted to talk about the skincare before you apply your makeup. You should apply your makeup about 15 to 30 minutes after your skincare. Skincare is really important. If you don't have a good base, then your makeup's not gonna last nearly as long. So skincare, you have to do it. So what I recommend is when you wake up and you're doing, you're washing your face, you use some type of cleanser. I use the Purpose Cleanser. It's uh, supposed to get rid of your oils and it doesn't over dry your skin. And it also removes makeup. So it's great for like at the end of the day too. After I cleanse my skin, I take a cotton round and I use the Micellar Water by Garnier. This is the green one, it's mattifying. And that just kind of removes any excess dirt that the cleanser may have missed. And then after that's all dry, then I will go in with a moisturizer. And I did use this moisturizer on my wedding day. It's the oil-free moisturizer for combination skin by Neutrogena. This is really thin and it absorbs into the the skin really fast so you actually could probably apply your makeup like pretty much right away but I just like to let everything marinate just to be safe a lot of people think that because you're oily already that you don't need to add moisturizer because you're already like moisturized but the fact is when you moisturize your skin your body is saying like oh you're already hydrated I don't need to produce more oils so it actually reduces the amount of oil that your body produces because you are moisturized so i definitely recommend that you use a moisturizer before you put in your makeup so after you've done your skincare okay you've waited like 15 to half an hour and that time you can like eat or something now we're gonna prime so first i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spray my face with the mac fix plus and i'm just gonna spray this all over the face and i'm actually gonna mix that with the slate all day Doing this will essentially create a barrier so that your oils can't get through. Once that's dry, you're just gonna go in with your regular primer. I don't actually know if primer will like elongate your makeup, but it definitely helps with smoothing out your pores and making sure like your face is smooth so that makeup glides on and looks more airbrushed. So I can definitely attest to that, but I don't know if it actually helped my makeup stay on longer throughout the night. I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is actually the same bottle that I used over a year ago. I have a drugstore one that I use on days that I'm going to work, but I only use this for special occasions because it's my favorite primer. So you're gonna apply this everywhere. Okay, after the primer is applied, I'm actually gonna go in with the Cody Airspun and I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna lightly apply this all over the face. By doing this, you essentially, again, recreate another barrier so that it, your oils don't come through. But you, do, you don't wanna add a lot because if you add a lot, I've noticed that when I put on foundation, it, it does look a little cakey and we don't want that. We wanna be cakey without looking cakey. So 
So our prep is done and we're gonna move on to foundation. For foundation, I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Cashew. You can apply this with either a beauty blender or a brush like I am. I actually do both. So I apply it to my entire face with a brush and then I go in with a beauty sponge just so that everything is really pushed into my pores. When looking for a foundation, you wanna make sure that the foundation has little to no SPF. I don't recommend going any higher than SPF 15 or so just so that you can avoid the uh, flashback another thing is if you know what foundation you're gonna wear to your wedding or you have an idea wear it all day like before your wedding so I recommend wearing it for at least 15 hours like go to work with it come home go to the gym with it work out in it because you're gonna be dancing for you know the rest of the night so you want to make sure that it will last through everything Okay, next we're gonna go in with concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light Medium. On my wedding day, I actually use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. But I am out and I still love that concealer more than any concealer I've ever tried. But this one is actually really good. Okay, with the Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna blend this on out and I'm actually gonna use this and prime my eyelids. Okay, now that we've concealed, we are gonna set it right away. So I am using the Cody Airspun in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage, and I'm going everywhere with this. And I'm really pressing this into the skin. And after it's powdered everywhere, I'm actually gonna let it sit for like five minutes. And you'll notice after the five minutes that there'll be less powder on your face because it absorbed into the skin. Okay, we look a little crazy and that's okay. I'm gonna move on to brows right now. So first I'm just gonna get some of the translucent powder off. And next I'm gonna fill in my brows. For brows, I'm using the Maybelline Total Temptations Brow Definer in the shade Medium Brown. So these are gonna be pretty natural. They're, they're not gonna be very different from my normal brow. So I'm just gonna add a couple hairs in the front and then really focus this on the tail end. I actually don't think I did this for my wedding. Like I only had the brow gel. Okay, brows are on. So I'm gonna wait to put in the brow gel just because we're gonna be working with some powders and I don't want the powders to mix with the liquid and like change the color. So we're gonna move on with our base. With the Wet n Wild contour brush, I'm gonna use the Benefit Hula Bronzer and just chisel out my cheekbones. I really recommend going heavier than you normally would. So this already looks like enough bronzer off of camera, but as you can see, that's why you want to add more because on camera, it doesn't look as harsh. And in your pictures, you know, you want to make it look like you, you really went through the work of, you know, adding structure to your face. This is actually a mistake that I think I did too. I didn't add enough blush. And then in all my pictures, I actually had like a little bit of bronzer, but it didn't look like I had anything on my cheeks. Okay, with a fluffy angled brush, I'm just gonna contour my nose as well. Okay, and then with the blush from BH Cosmetics, I am just going to rosy up my cheeks. This has a sheen to it, so I actually don't highlight. Since I'm very oily, it doesn't take a lot for me to look dewy and like look like I have highlight, but I personally like looking matte anyways. And honestly, highlighter, like the craze of putting on a blinding highlight was relatively recent. Like it's only been around for the past two or three years. And who's to say that years down the road that that craze is gonna be over? And then what if you had that for your wedding and you're like, Jesus, why was my highlight so like, Baboom. Okay, with the Cody Airspun, I'm just gonna chisel out my cheeks a little bit more. I'm gonna do the same with my nose. Okay, I only let that sit for like 10 seconds and then we're gonna dust this off and I'm actually gonna dust it into the blush. Dusting translucent powder over blush kind of makes everything melt together so it doesn't look like your blush is layered on top of your foundation. Like everything looks like it's all in one. And it makes it look more natural versus like you just applied blush. Okay, next with the Mint Pear M64, I'm gonna take this banana shade and I'm gonna use that to brighten my under eye. Basically everywhere that we applied concealer, I'm gonna apply this. So the bridge of my nose and my chin as well. Okay, so our base is done. So we're gonna move on to the eyes. For the eyes, you want something like 
kind of sexy but classy and timeless a little smoky i mean it's it's really up to preference but for me i think there's a reason why a lot of makeup artists do the same look on brides it's because you want something that when you look in your pictures years down the road you're gonna be like i, I still think i look beautiful not like as opposed to like oh geez that was that was in fashion back then now i regret that i did that Okay, so with my beige cosmetics palette, I'm going to take this taupey brown shade and mix it with this lighter taupey brown shade. And I'm just gonna apply this everywhere as my transition in my base. As we build, you're not really gonna see it, but it's I still think it's important just as like a foundation to work off of. If you're worried that your eyeshadow fallout will ruin your face, then I would recommend doing your eyes first and then your base. Okay, once your transition shade is laid down, I'm going to take this, this shade right here. It is this darker brown neutral, and I'm just going to apply this on the outer V and the socket. So it's going to be pretty much everywhere that the transition is but just a little lower. I'm using the same brush. I haven't switched it yet. So right now we're just adding some depth. I'm really leaving a space in like where my lid is because I'm gonna go in with the shimmer there. So I don't have to worry so much about putting product there. Okay, with a smaller fluffy brush, I'm gonna take this chocolate shade along with this plum shade that you see and I'm gonna only work this on the outer V. I'm basically using this entire row. Okay, next with a flat shader brush, I'm gonna take this matte white and I'm gonna apply this to my entire lid but I'm gonna avoid this outer part right here that we really built off of and this is gonna act as our base for our shimmer I'm pretty sure my lid color was the Mary Luminizer highlighter by the balm but I don't have that I actually borrowed it for the wedding so we're gonna have to use a shade from here okay with my finger I'm going into this champagne shimmer right here and I'm actually gonna mix that with this like yellow golden shimmer as well and I'm just gonna apply this straight to my lid and once that's down I'm just gonna take the same flat shader brush that we use for the white and then just kind of pat it in. Okay, with the same flat shader brush, I'm actually going to take this super golden color right here and I'm gonna place this only in the like the middle of my lid as a transition. So this is like a lighter shimmer and then it gets a little more yellow goldeny and then it like fades into my tail. And afterwards, we're gonna take the original fluffy brush for our transition shade and just kind of mix everything back together so there are no harsh lines. Okay, and then with my Cody Airspun, I'm going to lay this down so it gives it a more cat-like effect. I'm gonna let that chill for a little bit. And then with the pencil brush, I'm gonna take this very pale yellow shade and then I'm gonna put that in the inner corner and the brow bone. Okay, next I'm going in with the wing. For liner, I am using the Maybelline Eye Studio in the shade Black is Black. This is the same gel liner that I used on my wedding day. I'm still not even halfway done with it. And we're gonna make a really subtle line. So I recommend just making a straight line like so. And then once you're on the tail end, just make a tiny, tiny flick and then connect. And that's gonna be it. I personally, I mean, I love a dramatic wing, but I just didn't think it was appropriate for a wedding day. Okay, so if you have problems with your liner lasting on you and like smearing or transferring the minute you open your eyes and then you look down and then it like goes, it transfers to your lid, get a matte black shadow and set it. Because this cream acts like a liquid and then when you set it like a powder, then it stays in place. And I'm using this tiny precision brush to set it so that I can get in the inner corners. Because for me, it's always my inner corner where I have the most difficulty. So for mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic 
But if you know you're gonna be crying on that day, then I would recommend something waterproof. On my lower lashes on my wedding day, I used the MAC Giga Black Extended Play. And for my top lashes, I actually went and got them professionally done. That's something I actually would recommend you invest in because false lashes to me are not worth it on your wedding day because what if it's rainy or what if it's super windy and then you have to worry about your glue and reapplying like it's just so much extra work whereas if you get it professionally done the like the individuals you don't have to worry about it for three weeks straight and then on the on your wedding day all you have to do is just like worry about your lower lashes and you're good to go Okay, next I'm going with a nude eyeliner by Rimmel and I'm just gonna line my waterline and this is just gonna really open them up so they look bigger and wider and more awake. And then with a small brush, I'm going in with the same transition shades that we did before and then I'm just gonna smoke out my lower lash line. I would recommend using a matte shadow versus a shimmer. Okay, we're gonna move on to lips. So for lips, I am using the number seven precision lip pencil in the shade Rose. I'm just gonna use this to line. And I'm actually gonna take this in too. And then I'm going to top it off with the Lancome Matte Lipstick in the shade Poemi. This is the exact combination that I use, guys. Like, I still have it. I really only use it for my wedding day, so the bullet is pretty much full. I don't think I'll ever throw this away. It's very sentimental to me. Okay, and then I'm going to set my brows with the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in the shade Deep Brown. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just used this on my wedding day. Like, I didn't fill my brows in whatsoever. Okay, so I applied some lashes off of camera. These are the Ardell lashes in the style Wispy. And the last steps, I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus and then I'm just gonna spray this. Doing this will melt all the powders together so it won't look cakey. Everything is just gonna mesh together. And then after that, I'm going to take the Slay All Day and then spray this again. Okay, so our makeup is done and now we're gonna move on to hair. If you can see, my hair is already very loosely curled. I already did a tutorial a couple videos back on how I curl my hair, so I will link it below in the description box. So this is what we're working with, and I'm going to show you how I did my hair. I did do it myself, so it's super easy. You're going to be like, really, Ivory? Like, that's the look? Yeah, it's very, very easy. So first, you're going to want to curl your hair to your preference. Right now, it's just very beachy. It was actually a little curlier, but I went outside for a little bit and it rained, so it died a little bit, but that's okay. You're gonna need some bobby pins, some hairspray, and you're gonna need a barrette of some kind. So I am using this. This has like a alligator clip, if you can see it on the side. I got this from Etsy. I will try and link it if I can. I really don't remember how much it was, to be honest, but it was it was not expensive. It, it couldn't have been more than like, 50 bucks and that is like really pushing it okay so first what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your hair on the side and you're just gonna bobby pin it so you all you need is two bobby pins if your hair is extra thick then do more and you're gonna just pin it it's so hard to see because my hair is black but you're just gonna pin it so if I let go it's gonna hold and then you're gonna take another bobby pin and you're just gonna go the opposite way. So you pin one up and you pin the other one down so they stay still. And then you're gonna push them really close together. So see, already that looks really cute. So then you're gonna take this hair piece and then you're just gonna cover up the bobby pins and it's the exact same size. And then you're gonna, you can just push this to your preference. So I like it kind of far up. And then you can have your hair like this. And then you just use hairspray and you just spray it down and then that's it. How easy was that? Like, this is what my hair looked like with a little bit of extra curl. If you wanted to spice it up for this part right here, you could actually French braid it and then clip it. So I did do that on my reception day. And on my ceremony day, this was my hair. Okay, I went ahead and added the necklace and the earring set that I wore. This is giving me such memories. I got the earring and necklace set off of Etsy. I will also try to link it down below. I'm actually allergic to fake jewelry, so it was a like it was a struggle wearing this all day. I it's already itchy. So yeah, that completes it for this look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to give some last tips on your wedding day. 
after you apply your makeup, if you feel like it fades throughout the day, then maybe you want to bring one brush, a beauty blender, and maybe like some type of like either your blush or your bronzer with you so you can touch up. If you decide that you really want to do your makeup by yourself, then you need to time yourself. You want to do your entire face. If you want to do your hair, include your hair and time yourself and keep practicing and see how long on average it takes you to do your hair and makeup and then on the day of give yourself a 45 minute buffer in case anything bad happens and you end up like messing up your wing and you have to redo and stuff like that so time yourself so that you can give the correct time allotted when the day comes all right that is it I want to say congratulations again to the people that are getting married please enjoy your day it comes and it goes so quickly before you know it everyone says that but honestly it really does fly by so fast so really try to embrace what is happening around you so yes that is it i hope this video was helpful for you leave a comment below and tell me what you think and i will see you in my next video bye